Hello everyone, my name is Tiffany and this is my channel, Who's Your Handmade? Thank you so much for stopping by today. In today's video, we are talking all about pajamas for the family, specifically knit pajamas. If that sounds interesting to you, stick around. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you will consider subscribing before you leave. I would love to get to know you better and welcome you into the sewing community. And thank you so much to each one of my friends who keep coming back video after video. Thank you so much for your support and your kindness. And above all, thank you for your friendship. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I would love to chat with you. So I am rolling this video up into my Sewing with Knits series. I've been doing a series this year entitled Sewing with Knits. I'm trying to inspire the sewing community uh, with my love of knit fabric. I love sewing with knits. They're one of my favorite fabric types. It's a go-to to me. I love sewing with knits and I want to share that uh, with you all. I want to inspire you to maybe give knit fabric a try. If you are a little bit intimidated or you haven't tried it yet, I would love to inspire you. I've done a lot of other videos on this topic. I've done uh, tools and notions that will help you along on your knit sewing journey. I've done a video about fabric types that I love, knit fabric that I absolutely love, and I even went shopping with you guys on one instance. I took two patterns and we headed to Joann's and showed you some of my process in how I shop for uh, fabric and specifically in that video it was knit fabric so if you liked those kind of videos especially that shopping one let me know down below and we can do those again it's really fun to take you guys shopping with me maybe we can choose uh, two patterns that you might suggest and we can go to Joann's or Hobby Lobby or uh, some kind of fabric store and we can do that as a video. I love shopping with you guys. It's a lot of fun. Like I said, today we are focusing in on pajamas. Christmas is just around the corner. We're almost into the month of December and a lot of us like to sew Christmas PJs, those special Christmas pajamas for maybe the children in our lives or entire families. Uh, they're doing so many cute family photos nowadays with entire family matching pajamas. Super, super cute. So what I've done today is make a list of some patterns that I have had very good luck with in sewing up PJs for my entire family. I have men's patterns, I have a pattern for children, and then for women I do have a PJ option but I also have <laughs> a couple extra patterns to share with you. Now I love pajamas, I love sewing them for my family and my daughter, and I even have some for myself, but I also love wearing nightgowns gowns for my cozy loungewear and nightwear. So I have three extra patterns to share with you in the nightgown category just in case you are not 100% on PJs and you still like to wear those nightgowns. For all of these patterns, like I said, I have made them before so I'll try to pop up pictures or share actual garments with you and show you my makes as we Let's go. Let's get started with the men's pattern. I made this one for my husband a couple falls ago. This is the Elliot Max straight fit joggers a great pattern very easy I love joggers joggers are those sweatpants jogging pants that have a cuff at the bottom and they are so much fun to sew because you have zero hemming <laughs> you just attach those cuffs and you have a waistband at the top with elastic and you're good to go it was a very fun pattern Ellie and Mac one of my favorite pattern companies very size inclusive sizes extra small all the way up to 6xl I love this pattern. Josh loved wearing them. I made these out of an interlock knit that I got from Joann's. Here in a little bit, I'm going to talk to you about the fabric types that I do like to use for my knit fabrics. And that's one that I love, that interlock knit from the pop section. I love that fabric for these joggers. Speaking of joggers, let's head right to the women's jogger pattern that I have made. This is the one that I made and I love this pattern. Looking at it now, I need to revisit it and make me another pair. It is so much fun to make. This is McCall's M7816. I made view C. View C is the joggers in this pattern. Again, you have a cuff at the bottom, an easy waistband, and you're good to go. I did like the fit on these. I made 
made the largest size, the extra extra large. This pattern comes in sizes extra small all the way up to extra extra large. You can even see I wrote on the pattern there that it was a good pattern. It was really fun to make and I had a great time. What I didn't particularly care for when I was making this pattern was the fabric that I used. I bought a very slinky rib knit from Fabric Mart Fabrics. It was like $1.99 a yard. Not a good fabric choice. It was horrible to sew with. At the time, I didn't have my surgery yet and I was struggling with it for sure on my sewing machine. But this pattern was such a good one and I highly recommend trying this pattern out. I don't have those joggers to show you. I don't wear them anymore because of the fabric choice, but I do recommend this pattern. Now for both of those patterns, for a top for your joggers, what I would do is just pair them with a soft ready to wear t-shirt or or your favorite pattern of t-shirt, or you can find other options for top patterns out there. There are so, so many. Moving on to the children's pattern. If you've been following my channel for a while, you probably know what pattern I'm gonna talk about. This is indeed the free pattern from Ellie and Mac the Grow With Me pajamas. I love this pajama pattern. I have not even searched for another one, you guys. This one is so, so good. It does indeed grow with your kiddo completely free and has a huge size range. So the sizing on this pattern, which I should know by heart, <laughs> is six months all the way up to big kid 14. I just brought one pair up here of Addie's to show you. These were her Christmas PJs last year. I used a really cute panel from Highland Fabrics. And then I bought some specialty rib knit from Olga's Closet. This is so soft, so beautiful, and it has upheld a year's worth of wear and tear. <laughs> it has been a really great fabric choice. I would highly recommend their fabric there in Olga's closet. Again, this is a shirt. You do some collar blocking. You have a yoke on the front and the back. You have cuffs for uh, the arms and then of course a neckband. And then you also have a little pair of pants within that free pattern as well. The pants are really fun to sew. You sew them with these extra long cuffs. And if you don't need them that long for your kiddo, if their legs aren't quite that long, you can roll them up so that they are a rolled up cuff. And then they look like this as opposed to the long uh, cuff. My kid has really long legs, so we're rolling those down right now. But this is a size 2T. I have never changed sizes for her as long as I've been making these. I'm getting ready to size up, I think, um, in her new Christmas PJs. But love this pattern. Cannot recommend it enough. I will recommend this until I'm blue in the face. It is such a great Do pattern. Do give it a try for all the kiddos in your life. Okay, so those are my PJ recommendations for the family. Let's move on to those bonus patterns <laughs> that I wanted to talk about. I do love a good nightgown. I love to spoil myself with a good nightgown. So I have three separate patterns for nightgowns that I want to share. This first one is a PDF pattern. You might remember when I made this one. I was so in love with this make. I'm still in love with this. This this is the Love Notions Laundry Day Tea Dress. So I did the dress version and used that as a nightgown and it has worked absolutely perfectly. It is so comfortable. I did leave off hemming the sleeves in the bottom. I know it's kind of curling there, but that does not bother me at all. It actually lends a lot of comfort to my sleeves in the hem when I don't have um, extra bulk and extra thread there at my hems. I used some beautiful jersey fabric from the University of Sewing. I did a contrast back. I had a yard and a half of each of these and I made it work uh, with what I had. So I love this and the laundry day tee is so much fun to sew up. Love Notions Laundry Day Tea is free if you are in their Facebook group or if you subscribe to their newsletter. I think I actually bought it for $5 before I knew about those kind of things, but I think you can get it for free. It has a good size range from extra small all the way up to 5X. I did get this one um, printed at a print shop, you guys. So the Laundry Day Tea comes with a ton of options, a ton of different uh, shirt options, and then of course the dress. So I would recommend sending it off to be printed. Um, it was it just made my life a lot easier than having to tape together 
under all of those pages. I use the Blue Cup Shop on Etsy. She is a small business doing all the work herself. I will link her Etsy store down below. She's super nice to work with for getting your uh, PDF patterns printed. The next nightgown pattern that I sewed a very long time ago, you guys, this one was one of the very first patterns that I ever tried. I'm not going to show you the make. It was not a good one. It did not turn out, but that was user error. It was not anything to do with this pattern. This is the pattern right here. Like I said, it's a great one. This one is uh, M7697, a really fun PJ and nightgown pattern. Like I said, I was making the nightgowns, but you could also make the PJs there. This one has a wide size range. It comes in one packet from 8 to 16, and then the other packet is women's sizes 18W all the way to 24W. So this was a great pattern. I really liked I liked making it. <laughs> the neck band at that point in my sewing journey, I did not have a lot of experience with neck bands and that one sent me for a whirl. So that's why I'm not gonna share the make with you, but the pattern was a great one. So I recommend this pattern. And then the last extra pattern that I have to show you is this McCall's pattern. This is McCall's 2476. This is an old pattern, you guys. Let me see if I can find a year. 1999, actually. But I think you might be able to still find this uh, and maybe in the pattern books or on Etsy, somewhere like that. This was a really fun pattern. They are kind of retro looking nightgowns. I do have one right here to show you. I made View B there uh, with the short sleeve. So up in the corner, View B. It was a fun pattern. Uh, the sizing, again, it was a long time ago when I made this, so I was still very new at sizing. I made the extra, extra large, the largest size, and it was quite oversized, but again, it's very comfortable and I like wearing it. I did use a knit for this one. This is a double brush poly bundle that I bought at Walmart. I realize you guys that this is not a very attractive color or print but it's a nightgown and I was trying out this pattern so I was happy with it. I again did not hem the sleeves or the bottom I just left them raw for more comfort. It's been worn and worn and I do love this pattern. It's very comfortable. Now let's talk about those fabric types. So I showed you a wide variety of fabrics that I use. Like I said, the Joann's interlock and jersey are some of my favorites for PJs, especially that interlock knit. It's very cozy for the winter months. I love using rib knit. I showed you some from Olga's Closet. It's also a great option for pajamas. Jersey from places like the University of Sewing, your more high-end quilt stores or fabric stores also make great uh, options for nightgowns or PJs. Now this double brush poly that I just showed you, it is good for cold weather. <laughs> Let me caution you on a polyester or double brush poly, something like that, for nightwear in the summer months. I cannot wear this double brush poly nightgown during the summer. It is just too hot. Double brush poly does indeed hold in the heat to your body. So in the winter, it's great. It's a very cozy uh, nightgown. I do like wearing it in the winter. It keeps me warm. But in the summer, it's a no-go here in Indiana. It just gets too hot, even with air conditioning. So let me know down below what your favorite PJ pattern is. PJs are so much fun to make. If you've never given it a try, let me challenge you to do so. Let me know down below in the comment section if you have any plans to sew up some knit pajamas this Christmas. Do you have anyone in mind? I would love to chat with you. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.